Hey everyone, and welcome back to Garage Time. Uh, this one is gonna be a continuation of last week. I'm gonna go over all the trouble I had and the solution with bleeding the hydraulic clutch on my 1987 Porsche 911. And thank you to all of you who provided suggestions in the comments. I tried all of those and actually nothing worked. And I'll tell you exactly why. Garage time. I tried pressure bleeding with pumping regulated pressure from my smoke machine into the reservoir. And that didn't work either. I got this strange gurgling sound, but no fluid was coming out the slave cylinder at the transmission. So I disconnected the actual clutch pedal and I tried to bleed it by hand, which also didn't work. But I did discover that the master cylinder piston may not be retracting all the way. And this is one of the advantages of bench bleeding the system beforehand. You can really make sure that you're getting full travel of the master cylinder, which I sort of skipped that step and it proved to be a mistake. Maybe the seals were dry or I got a small piece of paper towel stuck in there. I'm not sure. So I did the counterintuitive thing and I actually blew compressed air into the slave cylinder, which then pushed the master cylinder all the way back into its home position. This is important because if it's not in its home position, the reservoir port is blocked, which means that's why no fluid was coming through the system. The piston wasn't retracted enough and it was blocking the path for fluid to flow. So immediately with the pressure in the reservoir, I did get some fluid to drip out of the slave cylinder. And then I manually pumped the master cylinder with my fingers just a few times and I think I got all the air out. And then sure enough, I got a really nice pedal right after I did that. And personally, I think the two person bleeding method is actually the best because sometimes gravity or even the pressurized reservoir, it doesn't really give you enough volume to really expel air. There's a small section in the tunnel where the, the line actually goes downhill and it's hard to get the air bubbles to flow downhill when you're just putting light pressure on it. So what I was doing with my hand is I was pumping it down pretty hard and then I was slowly retracting it up and I'm just kind of moving the bubbles along even when I had the, the pressure in the reservoir. So the bubbles were kind of being forced out and that's ultimately what allowed me to get all the air out and have a good working pedal again. So that's my story and lessons learned on the bleeding process. You should absolutely prime the master cylinder with even just a little bit of, of fluid before you install it, make sure it's getting its full stroke. That's really what I could have done better, but almost all the methods will work. I just like the two person method for both brakes and clutches. So now let's take the car for a ride and start to adjust those pedal positions and make sure the clutch pedal is adjusted correctly. The wooden pedal board is actually part of the clutch pedal adjustment because you don't want the clutch pedal to have too much travel. That can actually be hard on the pressure plate fingers and it's possible to break the pressure plate springs or the fingers over repeated use and over time. They just get stressed out. The pedal board is now stopping the clutch from going any further down than right there. So with the car on and the clutch pedal all the way down, we have no problems going into reverse. 
no grinding going into reverse, which is good. And if we go into first gear, we can see where it just starts to cause the car to creep. So I'm not going anywhere, not going, not going, still not going, still not going. I'm just starting to go. So the release point is about, I'd say the release point is about two and a half, maybe three inches off the bottom of the floor. It's right there. That's the release point right there. So it's got about, I'd say two full inches of travel that's really not needed. The other thing while I'm adjusting the pedals is I want to be able to hit the brakes and the gas pedal at the same time. But I really can't do that with this car without really tweaking my ankle. So from here to here, it's really tough to hit the gas pedal. You can hear the engine just speeding up. So ideally, I can change that so the gas pedal is a little closer and the brake pedal is a little further. So we'll adjust all three pedals to get the best driving experience. That's really what I'm after. None of this stuff is in the manual. This is kind of stuff that Ian has showed me on improving your driving. A lot of it has to do with your pedal setup. So this is the clutch adjustment. I'm going to move the clutch pedal further down with this adjustment. We'll hook that boot up in a minute. I'm gonna move this push rod two full turns and see how we do. Back that nut off a little bit. The pedal stop is all the way forward, but we can loosen these lock nuts on here and make the pedal throttle linkage arm longer. So that's gonna bring the pedal out closer to the brake pedal. We want these two, when the brake is pressed, we want these two to be even. So let's see how long we can go on this one. Feels like, that's like several turns. So let's try that. Let's try shifting into reverse. No problem. Go into first and see when the car starts to move. I'm just letting the clutch out real slow. And now the release point is about, it's, a, it's definitely different. So the release point is now right here, right there. So that's about an inch and a half off the floor. And this just makes driving easier because when it's time to go, I don't have to travel as far with the clutch pedal. And it's it's got enough engagement because if it doesn't, it'll grind in reverse. So I have no problem getting into reverse. I'm backing up, now I'm going forward. So that already feels much, much better. And then in terms of reaching the gas pedal, I'm able to just touch the gas pedal much easier. So I'll have to move the brake pedal a little bit further down, but now when I hit the pedal, the two are almost side by side. See that? So if I cheat over with my foot, I can hit the gas pedal no problem. So we're getting much closer. I just want to lower the, the brake pedal just a little bit Kind of make it even with the clutch pedal, if that makes sense. Right now, this is still sticking out just a little bit. And the pedal's got plenty of travel. I can't push it any more than that. So we got it's never going to hit the floor.
the back, the gas pedal goes all the way to the floor and it hits the hits the board right there. So we'll need to double check, even though we did those adjustments, that this is getting full throttle. We can adjust the rest of that linkage under the car or either at the engine. So notice how all the pedals are sort of lined up. And now when I hit the brake, these two are just about even. It goes down a little bit more when the engine's running, but I think that's gonna be a good adjustment. Let's go take it for a ride. Still no problem going into reverse. Even after the pedal has been adjusted here at the, at the floor. I really like the new pedal positions. To me, it just seems much more comfortable. Uh, shortening the throw of the clutch just, I don't know, it feels right. Takes a little bit of less time to leave from a stoplight, a little bit of less time to switch gears. And you never have to guess how far to push the clutch down. You can just put it down to the floor every time and you feel that stop and it feels really good. Same with the gas pedal. It'll go down till it stops, which I think is important. You don't get that like mushy last half inch feeling. So I like the way the pedals are adjusted right now. Um, the heel toe shift, a lot of people think it's not even possible with a 911, but it's very possible. You just have to be willing to deviate a little bit from the you know, Porsche factory manual setup, but it's completely safe. I think it just makes the car that much more enjoyable to drive. All the squeaking and tough pedal feel is gone. It is still a pretty stiff clutch pedal. I mean, it's not like a brand new Honda, but it does, it's how it's supposed to be. Like it feels great. Also, I just looked at some receipts on this car I, about 1500 miles ago, maybe 1800 miles ago, a very prominent shop here in Southern California worked on the clutch pedal. They replaced the master cylinder and the slave cylinder and still didn't fix the problem. Plus I don't agree with the adjustment method that they had set the clutch up with. They had it releasing really late and they had the pedal travel going all the way down to the floor. The pedals were adjusted at a very extreme position. So that just means that you're really stressing the uh, pressure plate, um, pushing it more than it needs to go. So I don't really agree with the work they did. The uh, receipt on that was like, I think $1,280 or something like that, a really expensive amount and they didn't fix the problem. So all that's left to do now is just put the carpet back on, on the pedal board and uh, button it up. Once the carpet's on, it is a good idea to, to double check that the uh, gas pedal is going full travel, which in this car, I don't think it is. 